Hello, it's Lynn Ann, and I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia about 20 years ago, so I have learned a few things to help me to thrive and to enjoy life again. And uh, today I want to talk to you about depression and fibromyalgia, and that often isn't talked about because people don't like to talk about mental illness. However, unfortunately, sometimes with fibromyalgia, uh, depression happens. And that certainly, actually, it was the depression that ended up with me being diagnosed with fibromyalgia because as I went, when I went to the psychiatrist and was on antidepressants, it was like, oh my goodness, you have nothing in your life that would make you depressed. I mean, you, have, you don't have financial issues, you have a uh, supporting family, you have a great job, you enjoy what you do, and yet you're depressed. And um, that led me to learn. Uh, find other things and realize that I was living on pain medication and um, keeping suppressing the pain. And um, that actually, I my personal belief is that's really what made me depressed was the chronic pain. Um, I ended up, of course, on anti antidepressants, which unfortunately I had a bad reaction to. And that's how I ended up in the hospital and getting other help. And I guess in hindsight, that was a good thing because that probably um, that wouldn't have happened otherwise. So I've learned through the years to find some things that help um, with both um, well, when it, you when you solve one problem, you kind of solve another problem. So one of the things that uh, I have found out is vitamin D is important for uh, the, 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 it's in the connection in making hormone, the happy hormones, the hormones that make you feel good. And often people with fibromyalgia have low levels of vitamin D. And um, you certainly want to make sure you have tests have been tested for that because having too much vitamin D is, is also not good and your body doesn't delete it, it uses it. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much. So um, generally speaking, if you live in, in um, the northern countries, you will do not get enough sun during the winter time in order to have a good vitamin D. And if you're not outside a lot, I mean, really being outside is great. It, it's a good healing and it's also great for um, helping you to get your vitamin D and I, you know, the nature is healing. I, I can't say enough about that. If you've been following me at all, you know that I do advocate for nature. Um, being out in nature is a healer, but in the wintertime, that isn't always as easy or as possible. So but make sure your vitamin, check your vitamin D levels. And if they're not, make sure you have them supplemented. And if you ha don't have a source for that, let me know. I can give you a source for your vitamin D um, supplements. Um, and one kind might not work always for everyone. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of experimenting around that piece. Uh, if you, the other one is vitamin B. It is um, important also in the production of the happy hormone, our serotonin and uh, those things that make us feel good. And you'll want to make sure that you um, have vitamin B, vitamin B6 in particular. In fact, that was one of the things my phys, um, attending physician told me when I was first diagnosed with fibromyalgia was to make sure I took lots of vitamin B6s. Um, so yes, um, you want to do that. And the other one that is really helpful, I found, was light therapy. Um, and if you're not familiar with light ther therapy, um, you want to maybe do a little Google research on that. But it, um, there are studies that show that light therapy helps with chronic pain. Now, specifically, I couldn't find one that specifically said with fibromyalgia, but chronic pain and depression, it certainly helps with that, especially if you also have seasonal affected depression. Um, that will also make a difference as well. But particularly, it, it's, it's interesting, we used it at the nursing home where I worked. I'm retired now, but when we were working, I was there, we used light therapy, and it was... Um, people that had things like other types of chronic pain. I mean, there were people that had fibromyalgia as well, but there were people that had like arthritis and other types of chronic pain. And they did feel like that when they were uh, doing the light therapy diligently daily, that they did feel better. And they had, an I mean, we were doing it for helping the elevated mood, but they found that their pain levels were much better. 
So um, I, if you haven't been doing that, that might be something to look at. There are, you can do a little search on that. When I personally first started it, which is many, many years ago, it was, it was fairly new and it was or at least considered new and kind of a little bit woo back then. It, But I found that and the one that I have is huge. It's and um, it is very bright. So I only use it in the mornings and I only use it for about 10 to 15 minutes. If I use it much more than that, I find that um, I'm very active for the day and I have a hard time sleeping at night, which, of course, you know, if you don't get a good night's sleep, then you're um, starting another cycle. So I from for me, I found that 10 minutes in the morning and I just sit and read using the light. It seems to work really well. And that's what we use at the nursing home as well was about 10 to 15 minutes uh, in the mornings. And that seemed to work well for people. So if you haven't tried that, that might be something that you might want to try. And I actually don't have, um, if you want some other tips, we do have a fiber, my, uh, managing fibromyalgia naturally group. And I also do a little bit of a, I have a website, uh, www.linann.com. Dot com and I'll put it in the it'll be in the um, description below and we also do um, I have lots of other tips too in it I do have a subscription that um, gives you weekly tips to help you and keep you on track I think I find I found for myself and I'm sure there's other people that unless you have somebody reminding you oh, oh yeah you should be doing this or this would be helpful or uh, more tips uh, were is was very helpful for me. And um, so some of my subscri subscription is not very much money. And it's every week you get another uh, tips as things that you can try and use and things that have worked for me or things that I know that will work for other people. And you can certainly um, try those out and use it. Anyhow, if you want more information, let me know. Happy to help.